This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, March 31st. I'm James Spann. What a beautiful day today. We should be in pretty good shape for the next two days, then some rain before the week is over. Let's go in there and check some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. Hey, the Birmingham camera focused on Regions Field. Yeah, it's baseball time, Major League Baseball uh, opening day today. Sky is there is sunny in downtown Birmingham. That's our sky cam at Russellville and Franklin County. Some high clouds around there, but still mostly sunny. And yes, indeed, a gorgeous day for the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's a sky cam down at Gulf Shores on a sunny late March day. Very intense storm up north, uh, producing blizzard conditions over the Dakotas. But that feature will move up into Canada and really should not bother us. We note that trailing band of showers and storms down into Arkansas and Missouri. But there is a reasonable chance those will fizzle before reaching us. What a warm-up today. We started off the day with temperatures below freezing in some spots. And we're up in the middle 70s today. Birmingham at 75. Uh, the same for Anniston and Montgomery. Uh, for some of the cities, temperatures climbing over 40 degrees from morning low to afternoon high. That's a big warm-up. And if you like those numbers, you'll like our weather for the rest of this week. Highs will likely be in the upper 70s to near 80 each day through Friday. Around the nation, colder air behind that big storm up north. But again, that's not going to bother us. From the watch warning map, blizzard warnings. The counties in red, parts of the Dakotas and western Minnesota. In Alabama, the counties involved there, that is a red flag warning for the wildfire danger this afternoon because of the very low dew points. Severe weather possibilities. This is day two tomorrow, April 1st, April Fool's Day for Tuesday. A couple of small slight risks, one from near Abilene to Wichita Falls, Texas, one including uh, Wichita, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri. Day three, which is Wednesday, a severe weather risk from Dallas-Fort Worth to near St. Louis. Some of the cities in that would include Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Little Rock, Fort Smith, Texarkana. And on day four, which is Thursday, there is a severe weather risk for Arkansas, some of the adjacent states. That would include Memphis, Greenville, Mississippi, Shreveport, Little Rock. We do not expect any severe weather beyond that, though, on day five for us, and that's good. Rain for the next five days, about one half inch. This is the rain through Saturday morning at 7 a.m. local time, and the bulk of that will be on Friday. We'll check modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock local time. Intense trough coming through the Great Lakes. New troughing coming into Northern California. Down below that, that surface load that brought the blizzard is moving up into Canada. And down below that, the trailing front should be inactive. Uh, the GFS bone dry tomorrow, and the high should be in the upper 70s. We do note the NAM tries to show a few little showers around here tomorrow morning with that dying uh, surface boundary, but I would side with the drier GFS. The air is just so dry, I don't see that happening. So tomorrow should be a nice day. This is Wednesday, and uh, we'll be up around 80 uh, during the day. Storm system gathering uh, strength there across the southern plains. And again, severe storms could break out late in the day into Wednesday night west of the state, but the GFS is suggesting the day will be dry. And really, the NAM has got a few little sprinkles showing up, but I think, uh, again, we'll side with the drier GFS. We're going to mention dry weather tomorrow and Wednesday, and the high Wednesday should be around 80. It'll be a very warm day. All right, this is Thursday. You can see a troughing moving out of the Great Lakes. Down below that, a surface low is near uh, Oklahoma City, 1,001 millibars, and uh, in the warm sector, severe weather could break out again uh, south and east of that thing. Thursday night at midnight, the surface low moves to northern Missouri, and it deepens to 999 millibars, trailing batch of showers and storms down into Arkansas and Louisiana, approaching Memphis. And again, this is just after midnight, Thursday night, 1 a.m. Friday. And then midday Friday, the surface low near Chicago, 994 millibars. And that could be another blizzard-type uh, setup there for parts of Wisconsin and upper Michigan. The trailing band of showers and storms moving down into Alabama on Friday. I don't think it rains all day Friday, but clearly we're going to be wet at times. Check some of the severe weather parameters. This is the instability, and really that's about the highest uh, uh, surface-based cape values we've seen all year. Uh, they are up to almost 2,000 joules. This is Friday evening at 7 o'clock in advance of the surface boundary that's over northwest Alabama. 
but you know a high cape doesn't bring severe weather other things have to come along with that here's a look at the low level shear and basically there isn't any to speak of this is between the surface and 925 millibars so real note uh, no real tornado threat more than likely and this is the low level jet this is the wind field at about 5,000 feet off the ground where the pressure is 850 millibars and again the higher winds well to the north of here so uh, like we showed you this morning there certainly could be some thunder on Friday but the prospects of severe weather at this point are looking very small and that's good this is Saturday as we start the weekend uh, the GFS continues to bring drier air into the northern half of Alabama and if this is right Saturday would be a dry day partly sunny with a high around 70 Rain uh, confined to the southern part of the state around Mobile and Dothan. And this is Sunday. Same deal. The surface boundary is kind of locked up along US-84. Showers and storms for the Gulf Coast, uh, Mobile and Dothan. But the northern half of the state, if this is right, would be dry. And Monday, we are dry. Highs, uh, low 70s on Sunday and Monday. We note, however, the European... Monday night wants to bring in a uh, 1,002 millibar surface low with a batch of rain, which is totally not on the GFS. A lot of model madness uh, late in the weekend and early next week, making for a lower confidence forecast. But at this point, we will side with the drier GFS. It's performed uh, pretty well this season. Go there a uh, little uh, deeper into next week. This is Wednesday, the 9th of April. Ooh, look at that thing. Very deep upper low over the Carolinas. Uh, surface low underneath that thing and uh, uh, that would be kind of showery toward the middle of next week if this is right and uh, the 10th look at the cold air coming down the line uh, I told you guys you know it's a little early to plant and uh, that more than likely would be your last frost of the season if this verifies with a big deep uh, nor'easter just off the upper part of the Atlantic coast so again that is Thursday the 10th of April Thursday of next week this could change but uh, just something to think about for the growers and finally, at the end of the forecast on the 16th of April, looks like a nice day, bright and sunny. And the good news for the next 15 days, despite the fact we're in April, we see no major severe weather setup here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.